Hey everybody, I wanted to share a little something that I've been experimenting with with you guys and that is something I was aware of when I bought my GH2 camera. Uh, I knew that you could adapt other lenses to the Micro Four Thirds mount, but I'd never actually done it myself and since I started doing it, I'm kind of addicted now and I think, uh, I think it's something valuable and something that everybody should know. So let me just share with you a little bit of what I've learned. Um, I bought this mount from Photo Deox off of uh, Amazon. They're really the only ones. There's one more brand called Rainbow Imaging. I haven't used their mount, but uh, this is what I got. It was about 25 bucks. It's a really, I mean, bare bones mount. It doesn't have any uh, anything fancy on it. It just simply adapts from a Micro Four Thirds mount to an FD mount. Now there's all sorts of different mounts you can buy to adapt. I chose FD because I saw that Canon FD lenses and other FD mountable lenses were really cheap on eBay. So the first one I bought was this little 50 millimeter. It's a 50 millimeter uh, 1.8. The 1.4 is really desirable and people really like it. I just bought the 1.8 because it was really cheap. Yeah, I got this for $34 and I wasn't really expecting a lot but when I tried it I was blown away. I mean, it looked just as good, just as crisp as my 45mm 1.8 made by Olympus, which is made for the Micro Four Thirds mount, and I'm actually using it on my close-up camera. Um, it's a great lens. It cost me $350, though, and this cost $34. So, I want to show you how this works. I mean, the mount is pretty self-explanatory. It's got Micro Four Thirds on one end, the FD mount is a really old Canon style uh, from like the 70s and 80s, even older, some of them. So this is an old lens, but the optics are great. You just stick the mount on here, you line up the, has a red dot, which you line up with the red dot on the FD lens. And once it's in there, just click it, and it locks into place. You heard it click. And now that it's got that on there, it goes on your GH2 just like it would go on any other Micro Four Thirds mount. Throw it on there, and uh, boom. I mean, there you go. You've got a Canon FD lens now. Uh, there's a crop factor. This looks different on your camera than it would look on a Canon camera, but it looks just great to me. And uh, as long as you're aware of that crop factor, you can use it to your advantage. Um, so pretty much the point of this video is to show that you can really find a great range of Canon FD primes online, all used of course because they're old, uh, but I've actually decided to get rid of all my, all my old lenses, uh, like this one for example. This is the only one that I haven't sold yet. I've been selling all my lenses that these are replacing. This is my Panasonic Lumix 45 uh, to 200 millimeter zoom which I really like. It was great. It cost me about 200 bucks. It was one of the first lenses I bought with my GH1s back when I shot with them and I've been using it with my GH2. But I've replaced it already with this lens which is a Sigma. It's not a Canon but it's still an FD mount and it's a 75 millimeter to 300 millimeter zoom. So what are the differences? What are the pros and cons? I mean, I'll start with the cons. I mean, you got to be aware of these right away. When you use the adapter, you're going to lose your, your connection, your electronic signal between your camera body and your lens. So you lose image stabilization if your lens had it. This lens has image stabilization, has the on-off switch here. Um, this one does not. Uh, you also have to be willing to do everything manually. These lenses only are workable with the mount because there are all manual uh, f-stops and uh, this is even a manual zoom. You have to you have to pull it out yourself to adjust the zoom length, which is a little weird. But this lens cost me like sixty dollars, and this one cost me two hundred. So I'm really all I'm sacrificing is the image stabilization and the ease of zooming like that. So to me. Uh, it's not it's not that much of a of a loss. Um, there's probably an optical argument to be made. Uh, newer lenses probably have better optics, but 
I mean, for the price, if you're looking for, if you're just now getting into the DSLR game and you're looking for cheap lenses, I would say you can avoid the ones that are made by the brand that you bought and go ahead and find cheaper ones that are older lenses that no one uses and adapt them to your camera. And that's the magic of the Micro Four Thirds camera format because um, it's the smallest mount out there. You can adapt almost anything down to it. Now, they do have uh, newer mounts out there that are more expensive that actually have an iris control inside uh, so that you can communicate with newer lenses like EOS lenses. And that's something I'm going to check out. And if I do, I'll let you all know. But for now, I just wanted to point this out. I mean, it's, a, it's something that I... I never thought of doing before, but now that I've done it, I'm totally addicted and uh, I'm completely replacing uh, all my Lumix lenses with older FD lenses. This, for example, is a 135mm prime lens. I bought it for, I think, $65 as well off of eBay. And, uh, you know, that, that's partially replacing this lens, the 45 to 200. I've got, I've got this focal length covered now, so, so I really don't need it anymore. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's just it was something great, and I just thought I'd share it with you guys. It's just as simple as this, this little this little item, and be aware that you can you know you can buy you don't have to just use FD lenses, you can use all sorts of lenses uh, that adapt to Micro Four Thirds. So let's go online, look for those mounts, and uh, really have fun, experiment with it. I mean, don't take my word for it. Go out there and do your own thing. That's that that's the fun of it, and I'm really uh. I'm really happy with what I've learned from this, and I hope that y'all can uh, learn something from it as well. So stick around. I'll get some more videos out for you. Have a good day.